Hi YouTube, my name is Shira and welcome to my channel. On today's video I'm going to make babka filled with cocoa coconut spread. But first, a taste test. Oh, what am I supposed to do with this? This is even worse than Nutella. Why? Why? Thank you. This is how it looks like. You can see the chunks of the coconut. It has a really strong smell of coconut, a really good strong set smell of coconut. And I don't know, the texture is interesting. Tell me in the comments if you like chunky spreads or you prefer them smooth. I'm super excited. It smells like bounty, but just all mixed together. You don't have the separation from the coconut. So let's try. Mm. Mm. I think it's like toasted coconut. It just says cocos nous. Rieve is one of my favorite supermarkets. I like their products. Usually they go for their for their cheaper home brand, which is Yam. You probably saw some videos from this generic brand on my channel before. You can go check this video right here. And in one of the times that I went to, to Rive in my grocery shopping routine, I saw that they have new spreads by their more lucrative home brand, generic brand, which is Feine Welt. And they have a lot of different spreads. They have cocoa spread, salted caramel spread, they have ruby spread, which interests me. And they also have like regular, like coconut spread, which is like white, which also interests me. And I always like, mm, maybe I should buy, maybe, maybe I'll buy it someday, maybe I'll try it. You know, we're in a difficult times and I try to save money all the time. So I don't buy things that I don't have to like for my being. So I procrastinated, procrastinated and I didn't buy any of them. And then it appeared on the product test of Reve. They have this program of product testers that they search for certain products. It can be Reve products like this one. It also can be like branded products like the one that I tried before on my channel. You can see it right there. Basically you just go to the supermarket if you have the product available then you could just grab it take it to the checkout and then you show them the coupon that you got from the product test program and then they refund you right on spot you can see it in the receipt they cost 166 euros and it's 200 grams so it's relatively expensive i think it's like what 83 cents per 100 grams mm. So like eight something to one kilo and you can have Nutella, like one kilo of Nutella in four euros. This is pretty expensive. I could choose between this coconut cocoa spread and salted caramel, but since they didn't have the salted caramel, I'll just took whatever they had because I didn't have time for it. And they also have like time limit. I think it's really nice. I, I really like the chunkiness of it. And I'm going to fill babka with it. But to make it even more coconut, I'm going to toast some coconut and I'm going to also cut some dark chocolate and to add it as well. If I would buy it, I would never use it for a babka because it's, you, I mean, you use so much and it's so expensive. Just disclaimer. But I thought since I got it, why not using it in a more interesting way? So let's start making the babka dough. Here I have some coconut that I toasted and I set it aside. And here's the spread as well that goes aside. I have yeast and flour and I add sugar to it. Then we mix them together and then I add the egg, give it a little mix and add the soft butter. This is the texture of the butter. Then we mix it together until it forms this crumb texture and add some salt. Then we mix it again and add the milk in batches. So until a dough is forming and not necessarily the entire amount of milk. As you can see I'm kind of struggling with the hand mixer but it doesn't mean that it's not possible. So here I am showing you how I'm holding and how hard it is to mix it but that it is still possible. I continue by hand kneading to feel the dough and see the texture. I think it needs a little bit more work on. And then when it's in the right texture, I transfer it into a work surface. Here I'm working on a baking sheet, but it's just because I'm filming and usually I just use it on, the, on my working surface without the baking sheet. Transfer the dough ball into a, an oiled bowl and let it rise for around two hours, one and a half hours. Take out the air and lightly flour your rolling pin and dough. Roll it into a big rectangle and to a really, really thin layer. Some people cut the edges, but I like it rustic. 
then you add your filling and the add-ons that you chose it's all optional of course you can change whatever you want my spread was a little bit too runny at this point uh, but it worked just fine I just chilled the log longer for the spread to be firmer I'm using a palette to spread evenly and then put the add-ons the coconut I used the leftover milk to um, tie the edges together. You can also use water if you don't have any leftover. Then you roll it as tight as you can from the thinner side of the rectangle. Create a log and put it in the fridge to set for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. You can also cut the edges at this point um, so it will be more straight. Then it's just really easier to cut in the middle and create a beautiful braid. You let it rise in the baking sheet covered loaf pan or English cake pan. Cover it and let it rise in a warm environment for another one hour and a half or two hours. Oh my god! Oh my god! This looks so good! So good! Then you bake in 190 degrees Celsius for 25 to 35 minutes depends on your oven. When it's still hot, use sugar syrup with a little bit of salt for this glossy and shiny effect. <sighs> oh my god, look at this beautiful thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It looks amazing. It smells very good. Let's try. Mm. You can feel the texture of the coconut, which is plus. I mean, I, as a coconut lover, I love the texture of it and I, I like to feel it. Let's see the top part. Mm. Mm. Perfect. This is so good. Look at, look at how soft the dough is. This is just so fucking amazing. Definitely try it. Yum. I'm trying to take a bite with relatively a lot of filling because it's the edge, so there's less filling. Yum. As I mentioned earlier, I probably wouldn't have used this spread in a babka if I would have paid for it because it's expensive and I almost used the entire box of spread. Oh my God. Oh my God. You see? Oh my god, it's so good! Mm. I think I recommend to use more filling. I, I put a really thin layer of the filling because I didn't want to finish the entire package. But it's so good. Of course, you can just change this spread in another cocoa spread and add the coconut and add more chocolate and it will be pretty similar. This is just a suggestion. I'm going to cut another one from the inner part. Maybe I will film all the filling in the middle part. So I, I tried to, to, to cut the small one and it became smooshed. Oh my God, it's so good. It's definitely a good spread. I like it. And also after I tried it on camera, I was like, mm, I want more from that. And I had more. So I would put it on, on bread, definitely. Oh my god, it's so soft, but you do have the upper part, which is crispy. Perfection. Mm, mm. Now I got a good bite with everything. I felt dark chocolate that adds really richness to it. But also it cuts the sweetness, which I like. And the coconut, it's definitely for coconut lovers, even though it's not super, like you don't feel it a lot in flavor, mostly in texture, but still so good. I never heard of like babka with coconut and I think that's a good thing to add to a babka. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Important thing to add a little bit of salt to the sugar syrup. So if you are making this, don't forget to tag me or use my hashtag on Instagram, it's Eats. 
and I am inviting you to follow me also on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. Another thing that I want to remind you is my online shop. You can choose the next video that will be uploaded to YouTube or the next recipe for my website. So if there's something that interests you, you want me to do something vegan, gluten-free, healthy, <laughs> <laughs> then you have the option to book a video or a recipe and I hope you use it because it will help me create more videos for you and also to make money which is important thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like that subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notifications when I upload new videos and also YouTube will like me more and I hope I'll see you on the next video Bye.